I, I see that there are two types of self-help mainly. One is a very practical, methodical, prescriptive self, self-help where you're given steps of what to do and they usually apply to practical situations like, you know, developing discipline or, or routines or changing your habits or reprogramming your mind. It's, it's very practical and methodical. And the other type of self-help is the one that is very spiritual, philosophical and generic. But you don't really know what to do with it and how to apply it in everyday life. Both of them have their plus points. I'm not saying all self-help is garbage and useless. Of course, it can be very beneficial. The problem is that if you come to rely only on that. And the, the way I see this work is an intersection of these two things. Because what we are doing, you know, of course, there is there is deep uh, philosophical and spiritual value and wisdom in it. At the same time, we are learning how to apply that to particular situations and patterns in our life in, in a very personal way. So it's not just a self-help prescription that applies to everyone. We are not giving prescriptions. We are coming up with a personalized technique for each person based on that situation or pattern and their background, their history, their predispositions, their beliefs, because also we are open to all beliefs. If someone is religious, non-religious, atheist, whatever, you know, if they're open, agnostic, it doesn't matter. We have to come up with a technique that works for you. And that is why like the interactive live element is very important. This is one of my issues with self-help is that a lot of the self-help teachers themselves have not done any healing. And they find some short-term solution which works very well, but it's not sustainable. And this is the part that even they don't realize and they will never talk about even when they realize it later because by then they are making a lot of money by selling that but the the what they end up doing a lot of the times is just do the opposite of your problem you know you have expectations go to the opposite extreme and drop all the expectations which i think that can become a signal for people to to evaluate a teacher you know are they going into extremes are they are they talking in absolutes when a teacher is doing that for me, that is not a real teacher. A real teacher knows the middle way. They know how to be in the center. They know how to handle the extreme as well as being in the middle. So that would be one of the expectations to come with is you can learn how to handle both extremes. I think that that's something this course really brings home is that you you don't have to completely evade um, or completely like in your mind completely overcome obstacles at least not in the way that you think and it's not about that it's about like facing them day to day and realizing that you can face them and they'll keep coming and you can still carry on like without being without feeling like completely overwhelmed or oppressed by your life circumstances but it yeah it's interesting because so often we think we the aim is to just like leap over <laughs> like completely leap over as opposed to go through it 